that was that was pretty sweet. All right, so the next rematch is the Evil Eye or the Devil Eye since it's devs versus Cringe's Wolfpack. This was another case of a weird disqualification, um, just due to things changing and needing to be changed. But we should be good to go now. Let's see if we have an immediate difference here. Cringe's turrets, as we learned, are not particularly well EMP insulated. <laughs> Just went immediately down there. Dev's Devil Eye seems to be, uh, or Devil Eye seems to be staying a little bit more in the battlefield this time. It still is not the best at turning, but it's really given it its all. So far, it's down in percentages, but it has a lot of small missiles still online. Oof. Nasty hits there. A lot of empty space in this craft, though. I love the way this thing looks. Hole in the buoyancy chamber there. Yeah, yeah. Got some level of holes being made, but honestly, you know, steam jets still perfectly intact. Props are still looking good. Everything's actually looking pretty okay over here. The parts which need to be resilient have been holding up fantastically against uh, the wolf pack. And, oh, yeah, it looks like the second turret finally went down to EMP. Kind of what happened in the first match as well. This is, uh, Dev's first outing with EMP, I think, in a tournament setting. He usually prefers not to use it. So, we still have a functional turret down below two of them, although we're looking very detection dead. Uh, all of Cringe's detections may have been stripped off. Additionally, a lot of his up thrust has been kind of pulled off, too. Seems that his missile controllers here are likely fried. Um, that, you don't... Okay, he put surge protectors underneath and on alloy. I don't think they worked. It looks like he probably had his local weapon controllers and stuff up here. So it just went through the top down into him. And these missiles are still just slowly chipping away. I mean, at this point, you know, even though it has surviving guns, uh, it doesn't have any detection. So I think this is going to be a slow story of the uh, evil eye wearing it out with big hash rounds and small missiles. Oh! Or sniping all of the upthrust off of it and poking enough holes for it to just sink. Either one works! Well, those missiles can absolutely still hit, actually. And they did! They did 0.1%. That is just so many small missiles. If you have anything that can get a jolt from the surface of your craft delivered by this thing, it's going to die. Like... It looks like a lot of his detection actually is. Oh, yeah, you could just see that it's just gone. <laughs> it's just gone. 
And I imagine down here, yeah. Still moving though, engines are still good. Propulsion's still good. This thing is still just spitting. Angry, angry volleys of missiles out. And, uh, the occasional Hess shell. <laughs> it's having no problem with control and buoyancy, though. Like, hardly any chambers got punctured. It's looking pretty, overall, okay. Um, it's, it's always funny when this kind of thing happens in From the Depths, where... The percentages look close, but this craft is functionally completely disabled. It's got no detection, all the turrets are AI dead, it has no local weapon controllers. But the hull's intact. In the case of EMP, you know, just means you need surge protectors in the right spot, better insulation around important components. In the case of Sand Blasters, which this is partially fragged too, you can kind of see it burrowing through when he's got Hesh, it usually means that you've invested a lot into armoring up areas that don't actually need the armor. Well, that's the AI, so it certainly needs it. It's actually kind of getting close to the AI here. Oh, look at that. The surge protectors have taken damage in here, too. That's a little scary. <laughs> the jolts are starting to look deeper and deeper into the craft. Fifteen seconds to go. It does look like the wolf pack's gonna survive the encounter, but, uh... It actually got pretty close to AI death here. It's, uh, it is one layer of armor away. And that's the round. So it does look like the evil eye takes that. <laughs>